Welcome, students, to the Martian human base. I am your robot teacher. Today, our lesson is about balance of two forces. On this fascinating red planet, we will explore how physical laws operate in different environments. To better explore Mars, Earth has sent us this advanced Mars rover. First, we see the return capsule entering the Martian atmosphere using a parachute. The air resistance of the parachute and the gravity acting on the return capsule interact, creating a balance of two forces. This balance slows down the return capsule, while maintaining a stable descent. Then, when the return capsule releases the Mars rover, we see a more complex scenario of two-force balance. The rover's retro rockets ignite, creating an upward thrust that counteracts Mars gravity. The balance of this thrust and gravity is key to the safe landing of the Mars rover. As the Mars rover nears the Martian surface, the cables release, completing the final stage of a safe landing. This process demonstrates the important role of two-force balance in actual space operations. The balance of forces is not just theoretical, but a practical tool guiding our safe and effective exploration. Look at this cargo rocket landing. Bringing essential supplies from Earth, including food, scientific equipment, and repair tools. These are indispensable for the long-term operation of our Mars base. During the landing, the thrusters at the bottom of the rocket generate upward thrust, countering the weight of the rocket. When the rocket's descent slows down and stabilizes, it indicates a balance of thrust and gravity. This is another practical example of two-force balance. The rocket's gravity and the thrust generated by its thrusters are equal and opposite, acting along the same line, allowing the rocket to land smoothly on the Martian surface. Mars weather is unpredictable, especially its intense dust storms, which can cover the entire planet and last for weeks. These dust storms pose a huge challenge to the facilities and operations of the Mars base. The storm poses a significant threat to standing rockets. Beginning to tilt under the fierce wind forces, To stabilize the rocket, we activate the side thrusters to generate counteracting thrust. This counter thrust is equal in magnitude to the force of the storm, but opposite in direction, and acting along the same line, forming a two-force balance. It is this balance of forces that allows the rocket to withstand the storm, maintaining vertical stability. This example once again demonstrates the importance and application of two-force balance even in the extreme Martian environment. After the storm, we found an ancient steel in the sandy area, inscribed with Mars history, telling us that Mars was once a water-rich and beautiful planet, but due to environmental destruction, it turned into the desert environment we see today. This is a reminder to cherish our environment. Astonishingly, the steel also hints that human DNA on Earth contains Martian elements. This steel revealing Martian history not only deepens our understanding of Mars, but also makes us reflect on our profound connection with this planet. Based on these new discoveries about Mars, and what we learned today about the balance of two forces, let's engage in a comprehensive reflection and exploration. Now. Imagine you are the chief commander at the Mars Flight Control Center, overseeing the exploration activities on Mars. Based on what we learned today about the balance of two forces, let's consider a question. Think about the scenarios of the Mars rover landing and the stabilization of the cargo rocket, and how the balance of two forces plays a role in these processes. Please choose from the following options, multiple choice. A. When the Mars rover uses its parachute, the resistance of the parachute is far greater than the gravity acting on the rover. B. When the Mars rover slows down using its parachute, the resistance of the parachute and the gravity acting on the rover form a balance. 
see. In a dust storm, the force generated by the rocket's thrusters is equal and opposite to the force of the storm. D. During the landing of the cargo rocket, it relies mainly on gravity rather than thrust. E. In a dust storm, the rocket does not need any additional force to maintain stability. F. During the landing of the cargo rocket, the thrust and gravity counteract each other, achieving a stable landing. The answer to this question is very important. The correct answer will ensure our stable development on Mars. A wrong answer could lead to the failure of the cargo spaceship's landing, forcing us to survive on potatoes alone for the next six months like Mark Watney. Remember, the journey to Mars is long, taking half a year. Please think carefully and make your choice.